Eric Butts. I'm Jim Butts. We're SuicideFantasyFootball.com, giving you the running backs that you should pick up and then finishing with who you should sit this week in your fantasy football playoffs. Who is your first running back, Jim? you got your number one choice of the There's running backs one. out there. There's only one out there right now. It's got to be Felix Jones. I hate to say it as a Cowboy hater, but it is Felix I hate Jones. to say it, although he did take a picture with us, and he was pretty cool when he hung out with us. He's my the, favorite yeah, Cowboy. If that yeah, he's just definitely means I don't cool. want him to die. And he, like, and, he, and he likes to ogle women. Which is awesome. So he, he likes to check him out. Ogle him, you know. When they're oh yeah, he was checking. He out. was rubber knocking him. Well, you know, which is cool. So it's, it's a good thing for me. All right, so I'm with you that he's number, number one, one. Number one. I don't. I don't know, Jim. Kevin Smith to me no is way. a close number dude, no. two, dude. Kevin Smith is coming off of an injury after not playing football for a year and a half. Felix Jones is injured all the time. Yeah, but Felix Jones has been playing these past couple years. Kevin Smith has been making hoagies at Subway. But he came back and was a beast. For a, a half of a game. For a game. A whole, dude, you don't put up those numbers in a half a game, Jim. Uh, a whatever. game and a quarter. <laughs> Let's be honest. So listen, all I'm saying is I'm with you. Felix Jones, number one. Kevin Smith, he's on his coattails, Jim. I don't know. I think he's Third in the second. Third guy. Third guy's Ryan Grant. Ryan Grant, who I thought was going to be the comeback player of the year in the NFL. No, year. Jim, you thought Donovan McNabb was going to be the comeback player of the year in the yeah, NFL. I did. I did think he was going to be. I thought Ryan Grant was going to be something. I like thought Ryan Grant was, was going to be the running back comeback. Yeah, yeah. I did. I had, so. him, I had him high up there. Me too. I didn't have him high rank, but he was one of those sleeper guys. And I thought yeah. if you get him in the I seventh round. Be, I thought he was going to be a top ten running back by the end of the year. Um, that didn't happen. No, not at all. But I think this week he's going to do good, and I think yeah. next week that's the other thing. You got to pick him up. You don't want to have guys you're picking up. You got to drop again next week. You want to pick him up and look for two weeks. And Ryan Grant is definitely Felix Jones is definitely going to be the number one guy for the next two weeks. Oh, Felix that's Jones, you're right. For the rest of the year, it is Felix Jones. I like Ryan Grant against KC. I like him against KC, and and then too, if they win against KC. You know what? Either way, win or lose, they might change their mind with who they're playing. Yeah. In the last week. James Starks could be coming on strong. You never know. Starks could be getting back healthy. So. All right, so that's the pickups, and that's three good pickups at the running back position. Now, sitting. Who are you sitting this week? With my don't believe the hypes again. Don't believe the hype. We're not going sits. I'm sorry. Jim's doing don't believe the that's hype. That's right. That's right. Flavor Flav. It's if I had a clock, I'd wear it. Um, D'Angelo Williams against Houston. Please. Don't fall for the trap. No. Don't fall for the trap. Houston's got Even me who likes dreadlocks. Run defense. Houston's awesome. D'Angelo Williams has been hit or miss. He had one 74-yard touchdown. It's not the D'Angelo Williams of four years ago where he was dominating. Every week he's done good, Jim. It's pretty much been one giant yeah, long one run, run. Yeah. and a couple of three- and five-yard runs. They're, they're, they're the definition of running back by committee, and running back by committee, committee loses fantasy football playoff games. I agree. Can't do it. Next guy, C.J. Spiller, done with him. Done with him. Loved him out of college. Thought he was going to be a great running back for the Bills. Now I'd rather have Fred Jackson on IR. He's that He's that 4A baseball player. He's the guy who's too just good for triple A, but just can't make it into majors. Yep. All right, next guy, Jim. Ryan Matthews. You got Ryan Matthews. I got Not Ryan Matthews. Not as a sit, but you're saying don't believe No, I'm, 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 I'm leaning towards a sit. Ryan Matthews is a frail, fragile player, and he's and going Baltimore. up against Baltimore. And Ray Lewis wants to knock his head Is off. Is Ray Ray back? Ray, yeah, Ray Ray's going to play this week. Yeah, I think Come so. On, that's that's a that's a big game. Um, so the, the, he's against Baltimore's defense. They don't have one guy. They got seven guys. Nada. They got Ed Reed coming up, smacking people around. I I would be very scared to play Ryan Matthews in this. I game. agree, especially knowing that there's a good chance he's going to be out by halftime. Yep. Your yep. next guy too is another definite. Don't believe the hype, and don't believe it this week. Rashard Madden at all. Rashard. Been a disappointment all year this year. You know, he tweeted that stupid stuff about slavery, and ever since then he's been downhill. And he just, against San Francisco's defense, he hasn't been spectacular against Indianapolis and the, and the bad teams. Is it true that San Francisco still hasn't allowed a rushing touchdown all year? I don't know that that's true. I, don't I think that's true. I think. I mean, I'm pulling it out of my ass like Jim did with the Patriots. I didn't, not I didn't pull it out of my ass. I heard the guy say it five minutes ago. I heard someone say it too. Right. What do you think of it? Right. I'm pretty sure. I, I think I heard it last week, and I think they went again last week against the Cardinals not letting up a rushing touchdown. I think touchdown. it's a rushing touchdown in the first quarter or the first half. I don't think it's all game. I don't know. I don't think they've let a rushing touchdown all year. 
I could be wrong. I could have heard half of something, which I right. usually do. All right, so that's it. That's who you need to pick up. That's who you need to sit. Listen to us. We know what we're talking about unless we're doing it ourselves and then we screw it up. Mm -hmm. We're Suicide Fantasy Football. Check out Fantasy Football Overload, Monday nights, Blog Talk Radio, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And then check out SuicideFantasyFootball.com. It's the revolution in fantasy football. And if you like us, subscribe to our videos and listen to us talk shit every week.